The newest hero in Clash of Clans is a serious force to be reckoned with. She's named the Royal Champion, and for a good reason. Being a skilled fighter with a spear, she can wreck a decent fraction of a base all by herself. The village is obviously happy to have her on their team, but where did the skilled fighter come from, where it appeared that she just appeared out of completely nowhere? Someone of her caliber would have required years of training and practice, and even with that much training, most troops still wouldn't be able to be as powerful as her. So who is this incredibly powerful new hero in Clash of Clans, and how did she find her way to the Clash of Clans village? Find out all of that inside of today's story, the Royal Champion's Origin Story. Surprisingly enough, the Royal Champion's story starts off in Clash Royale with the Blue King. A little while ago, the Blue King was having a really tough time. He was trying to push trophies super, super hard to get into one of the highest leagues possible, but for some reason he just couldn't make it into the next league. He tried using new decks and new troops, but nothing seemed to work. So one day when a ba new baby troop showed up at his doorsteps, he saw it as an opportunity to help get himself into one of the highest possible arenas. The baby came at the same time that the Ram Rider was introduced into the arenas, and it sort of resembled the Ram Rider in some way. But nonetheless, the king didn't question any of it, and he took the baby in and raised it as his own. The king loved the baby and gave it nothing but the best care. And the moment the baby was old enough, he gave her the best combat training too. The king had big, big plans to make the new troop into the best possible troop in the arena, that only he could use. So for a very long time, the king hid her away from the Red King and the rest of the other troops. He kept her in the now abandoned training camp arena, where every single day she would train. All day, every day. She was never allowed outside the arena or to see any of the other troops for the reason that the king didn't want anyone finding out about his little secret. The new troop became so incredibly good with all weapons and fighting techniques. But after she mastered all of the weapons, she wound up choosing the spear as her weapon of choice, as it was considered to be the most skilled and powerful weapon to use. But since the spear left a little bit of vulnerability on defense, she decided to add a shield in as well. But since this shield was sort of boring and she had already mastered all of the other weapons, she started to train with the shield. And after a ton of training, she could successfully use the shield not only on defense but on offense as well. And then after even more training on top of that, she could also use the shield as a sort of boomerang where she would throw the shield off one of the buildings and it would bounce from one building to another before it finally ran out of momentum. And even after she had mastered the shield toss, she still had extra time, since the king never came back to get her until one day before Christmas. The king showed up one day at the abandoned arena and called for her. He didn't even give her a name, and so he basically just called her over by saying, Yoohoo, over here. The king asked to see what she could do, and so she showed him her skills with the spear and the shield and all of the other weapons. And he was thoroughly impressed. The king then brought his new troop over to the Clash Royale arena for her grand reveal to the entire Clash universe. The king told the new troop that he brought her here for a reason. And that reason was because he needed her help to get to one of the highest possible arenas, the Grand Champion Arena. If he wins this next battle, he will be promoted to the Grand Champion. So for the first battle ever, the Grand Champion fought against all of the other troops and shredded through them with ease. She helped the Blue King come to an easy win in the match and advance to the next arena. The new troop was expecting the king to be extremely grateful and happy with her since she had literally been training her whole life for this one reason, just to help the king get to this arena. She couldn't wait to see how he would say thank you and show his appreciation. And so after the match, the blue king came over to the troop and said, nice, now get ready for the next battle. And that was it. The new troop was super upset and disappointed, since she had literally been training her whole life in complete isolation, locked away from everyone else, just so that he could say, nice. She was so powerful that she decided that she didn't need this, she was better off without him. And he was never much of a father figure anyway, so she didn't owe him anything. She was better than to just be some other troop that the king got to boss around and use to move up the ranks, and so she decided to leave and run away. With her amazing cardio, she ran all the way to the Clash of Clans village, and when she got there, she ran right into the middle of the battle without breaking a sweat. She ran into the middle of the ongoing battle, where it looked like the Clash of Clans king was yelling at his troops to retreat for some reason. She saw this as an opportunity to rush in and save the day, and so she did. She ran into the middle of the battle and threw her shield which hit 4 defenses and completely destroyed them. And she then went on to help destroy the rest of the base and give the rest of the troops the confidence they needed to take out the base, rather than retreat like the pathetic Barbarian King. After, after the battle was done, the Barbarian King asked her who she was, because that was incredible. Unfortunately, she didn't have a name. Instead, she just said, call me the Royal Champion, just like one of the top Clash Royale arenas. And after that battle, the Barbarian King brought the Royal Champion back to the Clash of Clans village and offered for her to stay there, since all of the other troops already looked up to her after her heroics and offered for her to stay there, and since all of the troops already looked up to her after her heroics, that she could also be a hero inside of the Clash of Clans village. 
the royal guardian quickly accepted the barbarian king's offer, and the rest was history. And that there is the story of how the royal champion, the newest hero inside of Clash of Clans, was brought into the world of Clash. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like on the video, and also leave a comment down below. These videos do take quite a while to write, edit, and or just overall put together, and so a like and comment would be very very much appreciated. And also if you wanted to see more videos like this for other new troops that come into Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, Brawl Stars, or any of those, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications as well. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.